Ignorance and Enlightenment An excerpt from Enlightenment, the Ultimate Flowering What is the difference between ignorance and enlightenment? Ignorance has no beginning but it ends. Enlightenment has a beginning but it never ends. This is the basic difference and this difference is is tremendous. Ignorance has no beginning but it ends. Basically for that matter everyone is born ignorant. Enlightenment on the other hand has a beginning but it never ends and both of these become one. They both are one. One thing has to be remembered Ignorance has no beginning, certainly it has an end. You cannot know from what point your ignorance begins. You cannot say from what point your ignorance begins. You always find it is there. You always find it is there. Ignorance is always there. You cannot know from what point your ignorance begins. You always find it there. You are always in the midst of ignorance. You never know the beginning of it because there is no beginning. It is always there. The end of ignorance is the beginning of enlightenment. However, the end of ignorance is the beginning of enlightenment. Ignorance has no beginning but it ends. Enlightenment has a beginning but it never ends. It goes on. Both of these become one. They are one. The beginning of enlightenment and the end of ignorance is a single point. Indeed, it is a dangerous one with two faces of sides. One face looking towards the beginningless ignorance and the other face looking at the beginning of endless enlightenment the unfathomable enlightenment. So you reach enlightenment but yet you never reach it. You come to it, you drop into it, you dissolve into it, you become one with it but still it remains a vast unknown territory. And that is the beauty of it and the mystery of it as well. If everything was known in enlightenment, there would be no mystery. If everything becomes known, then the whole thing would, would become ugly. If everything becomes known, then the whole thing would become ugly then there would be no mystery. Everything would be insipid and dead. So enlightenment is not knowing in this sense. Also it is not knowing as a suicide. Certainly it is knowing in the sense that it is an opening into greater mystery. You have now begun the process of knowing and living in the mystery. Knowing then means that you have known the mystery, you have become aware of the mystery. It is not that you have solved it. And remember you cannot solve the mystery of enlightenment. It is not there like a mathematical formula and everything is known. 
rather the knowing of enlightenment means that you have come to a point where the mystery has become the ultimate the mystery has become ultimate you have known that this is the ultimate mystery you have known it as a mystery now it has become so mysterious the that you cannot hope to solve it you drop all hopes of solving it instead you begin to rejoice the every aspect of this mystery and you continue to live with that but it is not the despair of hopelessness it is like understanding the nature of the mystery the mystery is such that it is insolvable and the very effort to solve it is absurd the mystery is such that any effort to solve it through intellect because that is the only way to solve anything if you want to solve a problem a, a situation or anything it is the intellect that you have to resolve to and the very essence of enlightenment the mystery of enlightenment is that it is insolvable and the very effort to solve it proves futile and looks absurd the mystery is such that any effort to solve it through the intellect is meaningless you have come to the point of your thinking now there is no thinking at all and where thinking comes to an end knowing begins remember where thinking comes to an end knowing begins but this is something very different from the knowing of science and other disciplines as you have accustomed knowing or you have understood through the education system this is something very different from this knowing of science and other disciplines the very word science means knowing but knowing in the sense of making a mystery demystified religious knowing means something quiet something altogether contrary religious knowing is altogether contrary religion is not demystifying the reality now all that was known before becomes mysterious again even ordinary things about which you were confident that you knew now even that gate is lost everything in a way becomes gateless endless and insolvable knowing implies you are participating in the exclusive mystery of the existence knowing implies that now you are participating in the exclusive mystery of the existence it is saying yes to the mystery of life the intellect and its theory is not there now you have left the emotions the feelings the intellects the thoughts far behind like the retreating army they are going far and far further away from you the intellect and its theory is not there you are face to face with this mysterious mystery it is an existential encounter not through the mind but through you the totality now you feel it from everywhere from your body from your eyes from your hands from your heart 
the total being comes in contact with the total mystery. It is like something that is overflowing and pulsating through every part of your being. When love overflows, this is what happens. It is just a beginning and the end will never be. Because the end would mean that you have demystified it. The process of demystifying begins but it never ends. And this is the beginning of enlightenment. There is no end to it. Only the beginning is there always. You can conceive of the end of ignorance, but there will be no end to this enlightened state of mind, enlightened state of awareness. Now you have jumped into a bottomless abyss. You can conceive of it from so many points of view. If one comes to this state of mind through Kundalini, it will be an endless flowering. The 1000 petals of Sahasra do not mean in any way exactly 1000. It is a parable. 1000 means simply a great number. It is symbolic. It means that the petals of the energy, the life force, are flowering, that are flowering are endless. They will go on opening without an end. You will know the first opening, the beginning of the spring season, when the first flower blossoms. But the last will never be there because there is no limit to the flowering. Each day you go on flowering more and more. No one can come to this point through Kundalini or one can come to this point through other ways. But it remains the same the flowers the, goes on blossoming, bliss goes on overflowing endlessly. There is no end to it. And the journey of enlightenment comes, unfolds into many different realms of the being. You rejoice every aspect of this mystery and you continue to live this.